Good morning, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It is finally the best time of the year, Monterey Car Week. You ready for your first car week? We got Idolo in the E46 M3, Sebastian in the E63. Sebastian's plate definitely worked better when he had an M2 competition. For those of you who don't know what Car Week is, essentially every car enthusiast and lover from around the world and all the supercar and normal car manufacturers gather together in Monterey, California for a week of the best events and car shows in the world. It's also an incredible reunion because everyone you've ever met in the automotive world is there and it's just such a blast. The coolest part is honestly just driving around town and randomly running into a 250 GTO being driven on the street or somebody revving a McLaren F1 and then taking off and accelerating like crazy. I'm so pumped. Taking PCH the whole way because the views are legendary. Pulled over for some gas and check this out. My buddy Sebastian got an E63 recently and the exterior spec is literally identical to the one I used to have. I'm so jealous, I miss this car. Selenite Gray Magno, also got a friend in a GT3 RS joining, but check out the interior. Same carbon fiber, all black interior, except he did the comfort seats, which honestly was the move, because the sports seats were really uncomfortable. Idolo's clean E46 M3. Coolest GT3 RS driver I've ever seen. Ran into some random supercars. Porsche Turbo pulling up. E63 wagon, that's dope. Damn, a wagon E46 M3, that is crazy. I've never seen that before. They never actually made an M3 wagon of that generation, so that's a pretty cool conversion. Past 18,000 miles. I believe this is actually the third Monterey Car Week that I've done in the 600 LT. Absolutely epic roads out here along Highway 1. How amazing is this view? Roads out here are crazy the rock formations. I absolutely love Highway 1. If you've never had the opportunity to go from LA to Monterey, taking the one, it is one of the most breathtaking roads ever in the world. Unfortunately, it usually has a fair amount of traffic in the twisty parts, so it's not really a great mobbing road unless you do it late at night. But the scenery is crazy, seeing out into the water, the cliff sides. One of the most expensive gas stations in the world. Beautiful tunnel. Hour and 24 to go. We just reached Big Sur, and now we are in the middle of a beautiful forest. I love how much the scenery shifts along this route. Looks like police pulled over a 675. How pretty is this bridge? Now, I wish you could see more, but there's a lot of fog. Nice Aventador. Officially in Carmel. Oh my God, Ferrari California on the street. Turning on to the infamous Ocean Avenue. Ocean Ave has to be one of the greatest car spotting roads in the entire world, particularly during Monterey Car Week. We're gonna be spending a lot of time on Ocean Ave this week. We'll do a brief little walk around first. Look at this Bronco. Hummer EV. Aston 177 casually street parked. A GT2 RS, F12 TDF, slammed pista. F12 is so sexy. Same with that 2RS. Look at that. How crazy is the color on this Urus? I have never seen a dark metallic green Urus before and it's got a tan interior. How incredible is this license plate on the Testarossa? That is freaking epic and hilarious. Just got a quick bite to eat. Now we are headed to the Monterey Jet Center for Motor Lux put on by Haggerty. I've never actually been to the Jet Center event, so I'm really excited. Like it sounds, it's in an airplane hangar and there should be a ton of supercars. And yes, we're pretending to look fancy. <laughs> look at that Barney purple Urus. That color combo is crazy. Carrera GT. Just pulled up to the Jet Center event and not only have I parked on the fairway, 
Just the parking lot alone is a legitimately epic car show. 765 LT, another 600 LT, Urus back there. M5 CS, nice looking ghost. There's that epic green Urus again. Look at this airplane, <laughs> smiles for miles. That is wild. I've never been in a private jet, have you? you what? <laughs> apparently we're about to go into this jet, which is pretty cool. So apparently these jets are made by Williams and they make 3,420 pounds of thrust. All right, check it out. Inside the private jet. Look at how cool the cockpit is. It's got like Tesla flad steering wheels. So I'm currently standing in the cargo area in the back of the plane, but it's an eight seater. Go ahead and do a walkthrough of the interior. It does feel bigger inside this plane than I was expecting from the outside, but I absolutely cannot stand up. And it's a $12 million airplane and my head is smashed against the roof. <laughs> These seats are really comfortable though, and the design in here is pretty damn cool. How's this for a rare car? Alfa Romeo Disco Volante. I don't think I've ever seen one of these in person before. Pretty crazy styling. Look at the rear of this thing. When you can't decide between your G-Wagon and your convertible, you just get a G-Wagon convertible. These things are super rare. How crazy is that? Check out the interior. That is so cool. You can have the top up in the front for the top down in the back. Absolutely stunning Lamborghini Diablo. Obviously a real one, unlike the fake one that I drove recently. Different variant though of the Diablo from the one I just drove. So sick. Infinitely more room on the inside. And of course, a V12. Gorgeous Lamborghini Countach. Badass roof Targa. Stunning all exposed carbon fiber Koenigsegg Regera. I haven't actually seen this spec before. This is absolutely wild. Check out how much that interior pops in all red. All right, here's a car I've never seen before. This is the latest from Hispano Suiza, a company that's been around since 1904. It's a Spanish company, but they recently came back with a vengeance, releasing some new vehicles. This one is fully electric just shy of 800 horsepower, 400 miles of range, and the looks are absolutely insane. So we're about to hop in the Hispano Suiza Carmen for the first time, all electric hypercar. Check out how gorgeous the interior is. This is actually, they're making five special units that are more performance focused. Look at the weave, it's titanium mixed with carbon fiber. And they actually had a customer come in with a rose and they said, we wanna match the color of this rose to the car. They pressed it between sheets of glass and now you have this absolutely spectacular spec. Yeah, I love the white and purple. You guys know, obviously my McLaren is purple, so purple cars are uh, a huge favorite of mine, but wow. Definitely was not expecting to be in this car today. Absolutely gorgeous GTR. And then look at the spec on this DeLorean. DeLorean is actually revealing a new car this week at Monterey Car Week. So cool to see the old one. Then check out this Viper race car. The wing on that thing is insane. How wild is this? It's called the C68 Carbon and it's a full carbon fiber rebodied version of a 1968 Dodge Charger with a brand new Hellcat Red Eye interior and powertrain. It's got 807 horsepower and it's fully made of carbon fiber. I think that has gotta be the coolest Hellcat I've ever seen. All right, this might be my favorite car of the show. It's an old Porsche with skis in the front, treads in the rear, a skid plate in the front, and apparently they built this with a goal of going to all seven continents around the world and it can drive on snow with ease. How crazy, I've never seen anything like this. Look at those treads instead of wheels. That is some crazy engineering. Let's take a little peek at the interior. Wow. This looks so crazy from the back. What do you think? I like it. I like it too. I love the leather straps for the luggage compartment. Pretty much original body, 356, except for that roof scoop, but man. Imagine driving this in powder snow, that would be so darn cool. So here's something really cool, 65 GT350, very similar to my dad's car, but what you've never seen is a GT350 Roadster, made by OVC, 
How crazy is this? Concept Roadster version of the GT350. I love that Speedster style design in the back. That is epic. Really cool Ruby Stone Red GT3 RS. Now the new GT3 RS was unveiled today when I'm filming this. We'll talk about that more later. Beautiful GT3. And then we got our friends from Hennessy. How beautiful is this? Hennessy Venom F5 that we just saw at the Protective Film Solutions meet. They're actually unveiling the Roadster variant of this car this year, I believe at Quail in a really cool spec. I just saw a picture of it. I feel like I'm in the Top Gun movie right now. This thing is absolutely insane. I wish I could give you some specs, but I have no idea what I'm looking at. Look at this, all chrome plane. Porsche GT2 RS Club Sport race car. The weave of the carbon fiber is so cool. They should incorporate that more in some road cars. Then check out the interior, single seater, crazy carbon fiber. Oh my gosh, the rear bumper. Wow. Beautiful Ferrari SP2 windshieldless hypercar. Absolutely crazy spec. I love how you're like completely sectioned off from your passenger. Name another car that has a piece of carbon fiber straight between you and your passenger. So if I don't want to talk to Christine, I, you know. <laughs> Casual La Ferrari. Nice looking Ford GT. McLaren Mercedes SLR. Old original Lambo. Gorgeous BMW Z8 going up for auction with an estimated price of 240 to 280 grand. This car actually has the E39 M5 engine in it and a much lighter, sexier two-door body. That is sick. Christine's found her favorite car of the show. <laughs> so fast. Inside one of the hangars now and the cars here are insane. One of the prettiest Astons ever, the DB5. How's this for a lineup of Ferraris? We got an F50, an F40, a 599, beautiful red Carrera GT, and a yellow Nürburgring edition Lexus LFA. Special edition of the LFA. Check out that crazy Alcantara interior. It's also got that carbon wing. I love the triple exhaust on this thing. One of my favorite Porsches ever made, the 959, and in red, that is stunning. Such an incredibly fast car for its time and still even now. 300 SL Gullwing. Crazy color Jaguar XJ220 hypercar. Very interesting interior in this car. Gotta love the GT3 RS 4.0 and next to it a BMW M1. How cool are those wheels? They need to make a new M1. Engine bay area of the Lamborghini Miura. This thing is absolutely mint condition. Some say this was the original supercar. Toyota 2000 GT, these things are rare. Pretty darn classy for a Toyota. And here's a beautiful 356 that isn't on skis. How's this for a crazy retro supercar? Jaguar XJR15. Well guys, what an absolutely epic day kind of day zero of Monterey Car Week. If you're not subscribed already, smash that subscribe button because the content over the next couple of days is going to be absolutely insane. From the Quail Lodge to a new car from Bugatti to a P1 successor, the new GT3 RS and more. I'm so excited to share with you what Car Week has to offer. All right guys, look forward to seeing you next video.